Head along Highway 101 with the ocean virtually in your lap, and there are a lot of appealing stops you can make, including taking a hike in the pristine countryside, checking out quaint, impeccably maintained downtown Half Moon Bay, or checking out many of the flower farms in the area. Another must-see attraction is historic Duarte's Tavern in nearby Pescadero, a place that has delighted locals and those passing by for more than a century. They come for the history, but really it's the food that packs them in and one vegetable is among their top draws. Here, you'll get artichokes in omelets. Freshly steamed artichoke parts into the omelet, and then we let it set up a little bit. And again, it was very, very important to make sure that the artichokes are hot because when we fold that first flap of the omelet over, the egg will drip down through the artichokes and then cook. But before we get into more of the outstanding dishes at Duarte's, let's meet the man who helps put those artichokes in your omelet. Meet John Juisty, who knows he has something special growing in his fields. Something about an artichoke that makes it kind of mysterious, I think, because they're they don't look like your run-of-the-mill vegetable, but yet they're, I think most people really like the flavor of them. So I think that that's why they're popular with chefs. I, they're, they're, they're kind of sexy. John is the third generation of his family to farm in nearby Half Moon Bay, and a big part of his success lies in strong relationships with Duarte's and other restaurants in the area. California grows virtually all of the artichokes in America, and this vegetable, which is actually a thistle, is jam-packed with nutrition. They have 16 essential nutrients and just 25 calories each. It's important that the restaurants use local product and uh, uh, it gives us a, a sense of being connected uh, with the community. I think it's, it's where the, the community interacts with us on the farm. It's where the end product is, is uh, produced and uh, I, think, I think it's an important part. When the consumer is in a store, uh, a good test to tell if the artichokes are fresh is to when you, when you go to ha handle them, they should squeak a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that. And that means they're at their peak of freshness. They're not, they're not wilted or anything. They're, they're ready to eat. I think they're a great product. The talent in picking lies in how fast and accurately the workers select which artichokes are ready to go. And you have to be pretty good at cutting them and then tossing them over your shoulder into the backpack too. There's a wide variety of sizes and that's just fine. Each artichoke has its purpose. The smaller artichokes, the baby artichokes like this, are the ones you'll see they use for deep fried artichokes or you'll see them as artichoke hearts in uh, uh, omelets, artichoke omelets. or and pastas. Uh, a larger size like this is, is usually, most people just throw them in the water and boil them and eat them with lemon butter or mayonnaise and they're great like that. So important to Duarte's success is the hard work to get to the heart of the matter. These chokes are peeled down to the hearts which are then boiled before they're ready as an ingredient and this restaurant uses a lot of them. Thousands of artichoke hearts are needed as they make several hundred bowls of soup each and every day. It starts with chicken broth, butter, uh, lots of fresh artichokes, a little chicken stock like I said, and uh, now we're doing the thickening process which is uh, pouring cornstarch, uh, diluted cornstarch into a simmering, uh, a rolling pot of artichoke soup. But what she's doing is kind of feeling and looking at the at the lines that are made by the whip because you kind of have to almost feel it. You can't just dump it in there and, and, and mix. So she's actually going and she can see it and she's watching the, the lines by the whip and feeling the texture of the soup and it'll get to an appropriate thickness. So from the field to restaurants like Duarte's, the almighty artichoke has captured many people with its unique appearance and flavor, sealing a strong bond between the person who grows it, those who prepare it, and the customers who savor this dining experience. For California Country, I'm Dennis Newhall.